today I'm going to be installing an hour meter on this new KLX 110. Now this process will be pretty much the same whether you're installing it on a dirt bike or any other small engine like a pump, lawnmower or generator. An hour meter is going to track every hour that the engine is on so it's perfect for tracking your service intervals and it can help with resale as well. Now you can pick these up pretty cheaply online or at any motorcycle store. So this is what comes in the packet. You've got the hour meter itself, a single cable, some zip ties and some mounting hardware. The first thing you want to do is locate the spark plug cable, which on this bike is here. On a lawnmower, you'd install it on this cable. On a generator, you'd install it on here. And on a pump, you would install it here. Next, you want to get the cable that came in the packet and wrap it around the spark plug cable about five times, leaving a few centimetres of tail. It should now look like this. I've just secured that loose tail and the main piece of cable with one of the supplied zip ties. Depending on where you need to attach that cable, you may need to take some plastics or some engine coverings off to get access. Next, you need to find a location to mount the hour meter itself. On a dirt bike, a pretty common location is up on the frame near the head tube, which is where I'm going to put this one, and then run the cable from where you've just secured it to the spark plug cable up to where you're going to put the hour meter, making sure to leave a little bit of slack and also to make sure it doesn't touch the engine because it will melt. I'm going to put the hour meter in on this flat section in here, and I do need to take this off just to get a bit better access. A couple of different ways you can mount these. You can use the supplied screws for the ones that came with this one. It says to drill two and a half millimeter holes into the frame and attach it that way. You could also use zip ties, but I'm just gonna use some really strong double-sided tape. Next, get the cable and press it into this slot. And what the cable does, it just detects the pulse to the spark plug and that tells the hour meter that the engine's on. Trim off the excess cable. Stick this down. So now when I start the bike, I should see that hourglass symbol on the left side of the meter flashing, which means it's working and it will record every one-tenth of an hour, so every six minutes will show up as 0.1 on the hour meter. And that's all there is to it. Installing an hour meter is that easy. 